Hello, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another video. Today we are in. I think this is my first video. First face cam in here. Beautiful, isn't it? I still don't have all of the sound foam up. I got the command strips about an hour ago. I will be setting that up today. I do plan on streaming on the main channel, so hopefully that goes well. Um, by the time this goes, I oh got I can hear the echo and it's driving me crazy. Uh, but today we are doing one of the decks that I am most excited for. Magnezone Duskmane Necrozma. I was gonna say Soul Galeo. It's not Soul Galeo. Well, it's kind of Soul Galeo, but this is not Soul Galeo. This is Duskmane Necrozma. Duskmane Necrozma is the attacker we needed for metal. A hundred percent. 220 knocks out majority, not everything. Knocks out a lot. Why is something loading? Don't be loading. Is my thing crashing? No, it's not crashing. Don't be loading on me, game. 220 knocks out most things, not everything. Uh, it doesn't knock out Sogaleo GX, it doesn't knock out Lunala GX, it doesn't knock out uh, Decidueye, I was trying to think of that. Those are the three main ones. Uh, Gardevoir is 230 HP, but it hits for weakness, so it's knocking out Gardevoir. It's just a really good attacker. Discard three energies, not a big deal. It actually works out very well, surprisingly. Uh, Sun's Eclipse knocks out everything, let's be honest here. Um, I found that I very rarely use that. It's also new deck to me. I've used it maybe 10 games. Um, but I'm most of the time using Dialga GX's GX attack. For 150 damage, you take another turn. I'm gonna let you imagine this. 150 damage. Imagine you've got all of the energies you need. With Magnazone, with Mount Coronet, all that kind of stuff. You have a Guzma in hand. You have a Choice Band in hand. You Guzma. Grab Tapu Lele, because we know your opponent's gonna have it on the bench. You grab Tapu Lele. You attach the Choice Band. You knock him out 180 damage. You take two prize cards. You have a brand new turn. Your opponent has to bring something up basically as a sacrifice because assuming you're at this point, you have a Duskmane Necrozma up and you can retreat out to him. You lose the three energies, Mount Coronet them back up, do whatever you need to do to get them back up. It's beautiful. Other little techs in here, oh well, the main part of this deck on why it works is Magnezone. As often as you like during your turn, you may attach a steel energy card from your hand to one of your Pokemon. This may sound reminiscent. There was a Magnezone, I think it was Breakthrough. I'm pretty sure it was Breakthrough, that had the same exact ability, but it was electric. Which didn't have that big of attacker. It was kind of mixed with Tapu Koko. Um, people are seeing play with it with Raichu GX. I think this is much better because we have the attacker we needed. I like it a lot. A Pikachu EX was used a lot too. Andrew Mahone made it very famous, which was awesome. Uh, he made a very good deck out of it. This is what I've made so far. This is a nutshell of, I've watched a bunch of videos, I've seen what people's ideas are, what I think makes is best. This is my own variant on it. I've seen people run just a Ranguru. Hi Link, I know, he's excited now. Just a Ranguru. I like the 2-2 line, I think that is important. I'm not sure about the 3-1-3 line yet, uh, yet is the key word here. You need a Magneton in there, but we might be able to get away with a 2-1-2. That might be a little greedy, but you might be able to get away with it. Uh, we'll have to see about that. I've seen people not run Bridget, which makes no sense with Bridget um run two more specifically you need to make sure if one's prize you can get out another one with Tapu Lele two Lele's everything else in here is pretty consistent um like consistently used professor's letter is not consistently used um search your deck for up to two basic energies that's to help with Magnezone acceleration um uh, makes sense 10 energies you can take away one you can add one but I feel like 10 is just a good number uh two float stones just to make sure you can get things out that you need to get out we're starting Pokemon is Soul Galeo this Soul Galeo is nuts you can even attack with it if you really want to, and then retreat out with it afterwards. It's nuts. Radiant Star, for each of your opponent's Pokemon play, attach a Metal Energy card from your discard file. Now, this is not mid-game. Oh, it is kind of mid-game. It's not early game. It's not... Uh, I'd say it's mid-game or late game. I, I contradicted myself there. You can use this to just accelerate so much energy. You can get six energies on just one attack, one steel energy. Get all of the energies out of the discard pile. It's beautiful. This is very consistent. I like this deck a lot. Um, two, Cynthia, I love. Sycamore, I'm considering dropping down to one. I think I should do that, honestly. Now that I'm just looking at this, I don't like the two Cyn or the two Sycamores. I think I like that. The reason being is you don't really want to be using Sycamore. No, you kind of do. It's a give and take thing, because this is a stage two deck with Magnezone. So a lot of times when you Sycamore, you're probably going to be getting rid of either a Magnezone or a Rare Candy or something like that, which will hurt. But you're also be getting rid of a lot of energy, which getting the energy in the discard pile is normally a bad thing. It's kind of a good thing in here. Let's try this out. I haven't tried it yet out with uh, three Cynthia's and uh, one Sycamore. Let's see how it does. I'm excited for it. Two and five is not the correct record. That has been off by a mile. 
Don't look at that. I've, I've played way more games than that, and I've won way more than I've lost. Don't worry. It's a good deck. It's it's. Un I was doing that earlier with Garchomp Lucario. I won 10 games in a row with Garchomp Lucario, and it came up as I was 3-7. and seven. It didn't make any sense. I only lost two games with it. Pokemon, fix your stuff. You're doing a great job, Pokemon. You and Hearthstone. You and Blizzard, Pokemon. Oh, okay. This is a terrible hand. Um, Hearthstone just updated their game this morning to uh, Big Nerves that I'm very excited for. Making Big Priest very good. And I love Big Priest. Uh, Pokemon just released... Oh, there we go. Beautiful. Just released Ultra Prism, which I think was a set that we desperately needed. Um, I like getting rid of one and one. I like that. And I'm going to grab Lele. And it's going to depend on how greedy I want to get with this. It's going to be like, normally I want to guarantee a Bridget, but I know my opponent's going to want to Bridget his turn, and the following turn I have nothing. <sighs> I think we have to Cynthia. I, I want to Bridget here, but I can't. I just can't. I have nothing else in hand. Um, one Magnezone prize, that's all I've noticed so far. No Dusk Mains, no Solaleo, no du uh, one Field Blower, so that's two prizes. Or do I have it in hand? No, I don't think I do. No, I don't. Um, no Candies, one's gone. One Ultra Ball, no Mount Coronets, no none of those. One Steel Energy, so there's two prizes I don't know that are missing. I'll worry about that in the future. <laughs> I haven't played with this deck enough to know the ins and outs of it yet, unfortunately. So we do have to do that. I wish I could bridge it so bad. I kind of wish I Bridget it. <laughs> I really do. <sighs> oh, this is bad. Oh, this is really bad. Okay, I'm just going to pass. I'm going to leave Sokaleo up there, which is weird because I don't want to have him up there, but I don't have any Magnemites on my bench. I don't have any way of getting Magnemites out, so I'm going to leave him up there, and I'm going to hope that he gets knocked out eventually. Yeah, I'm going to have to. Also, I got to make sure I don't put down any more uh, Tapu Leles, and I'm not against actually getting this Tapu Lele knocked out because Weavile hits for... The new Weavile is like 50 times the amount of Pokemon with abilities on your opponent's bench, and this deck is pretty heavily ability-focused. Tapu Lele, Magnezone, um, uh, Octillery. I think that's it, actually. Not, not crazy, but a good amount. He did not end me, which sucks. This is what happens when you run a stage two deck. I was about to say stage three. A stage two deck, a lot of inconsistencies, like I said, with rare candy, uh, Magnezone, that kind of stuff. Oh, great. Let's do that. <sighs> yeah, we're just gonna go ahead and Radiant Star. I'm actually gonna attach the top of Lele. Reason being is eventually I want to get that Lele to attack and knock out at least one of my opponents. Oh, phone, shut up. Uh, shut up. I want to attack and knock out with Lele because I don't want him on the bench. Honchkrow is a cool card as well with Raven's Claw. Ten times, yeah. He's going to go for spread damage. This might not even have the new Weavile in it, does it? No, he's using the old Weavile. Okay, we're going to have to get rid of Tapu Lele. Which now, I, I was thinking it was the new Le the new Weavile. That's not doing anything. Okay, so he's not attacking me this turn. Wait. Oh, wait, what? Okay, yeah, yeah, that makes sense. Counter energy counts as just one normal energy if it doesn't have the, if you're not down in prizes. I was thinking that it was going for the slash tag. I'm like, that, that can't work like that. Well, this hand is fantastic. Really cool. Well, yeah. <laughs> I had to read that for a second. I'm like, did I mess up? No, yeah, I want to end that because I can't do anything. I legitimately... Radiant Star doesn't do anything. I have nothing in the discard pile. I don't want to play Mount Coronet because I don't want him to get rid of it. Basically, I'm just hoping that I draw into some supporter right now. Oh, you are a beautiful man, Matt Potter. Ha ha ha. You should not have done that. Even if you had nothing in hand, you should not have done that. Okay. Do I actually want to get an Octillery up? Oh, this 
is annoying. Okay, I don't know if I want to get an artillery up or not. Oh my god, okay. Oh, Magnazone's just getting, or Magnemite's just getting up there too. I think I lose this one. Well, I'm gonna bridge it, regardless, just to get it out of my hand. I guess I grab one of you. Okay, okay. We hope that he doesn't revile this turn. We really hope he doesn't revile this turn. Radiant Star. That was a great, great play. I think we just lose this one. Did not, this is one of my favorite decks too. This was the only, I was like the only man running this deck. I didn't, this was like before Necrozma was even a thing. I loved this combo. It was so much fun. So much math. And then it got destroyed by Decidueye and then I stopped. Uh, cool. My Dialga? Why? What's your plan here, bub? You have a plan. I don't know what it is and I don't like it. I hope you have a plan. You end me, so you probably don't have a plan, and I'm still gonna lose to you. There goes my Magnemite. Hi, bud. Um, I mean, it kind of worked out that he brought up Dialga, because now I can overclock. I know, Link. You keep getting that. Do I have a way of knocking him out? Arr. Um, What's my way of knocking him out? I could take a knockout this turn with Guzma if I really felt like I could do that. Uh, Guzma, grab you. Hopefully hit an energy. Nope, that's not really a good plan. Let's do that, and let's end. If I super rotted there, I was just grabbing a Magnemite, which, honestly, at this point, Magnemite's not that good for me. This hand isn't very good for me either. Nothing's very good for me right now. Okay, let's put you down. Oh, that's another knockout, though. That sucks so much. I'm okay with sacking off the Magnemites, I think. I just wanted to draw another card. Okay, that's good. We're gonna overclock just for one. Okay, that's a little interesting. If he does Rule of Evil this turn, which... I don't know if he realizes, if he rules of evil, he not, okay, he does realize it. Good for you. Flying flip, not knocking out anything, which is awesome. If I had a Guzma, that's not what a Guzma is. Um, wow, cool. <laughs> uh, guys, this deck is really good, trust me. Uh, I'm just in a predic, I'm in a predicament. Could bring you up and do 40 because oh yeah he does have resistance so yeah it is 40. I could do 80 with Tapu Lele. I think I like that. I think I like that. Not knocking him out but setting up a knockout and also getting this damage off the board because of Haunch Crow. I'm okay with this. Yeah I'm okay with this. I can't really do anything else. Energy drive. Getting 80 damage down, 160 off the board on my side. It's gonna take a knockout. He can't rule of evil unless he wants to give me four prize cards. I actually think if I had Guzma there, I would have made a mistake by grabbing the Lele or like Lele or Necrozma, even though I actually think I really need to grab like Necrozma. Him doing 100 damage to my Lele, obviously. Okay, good. He put a counter energy on the Honchkrow, so Honchkrow still can't attack yet. Mm -hmm. That sucks, but it's fine. It's fine. Something I can deal with. We could come up, knock you out. I'm gonna bring you up. Uh, Lele, Guzma, grab what? Honchkrow? How do I like that? I'm not knocking him out, so I don't like that at all. I think I have to Lele for N, unfortunately. Yeah, let's Lele for N. I'm, I'm setting up another Pokemon that he can knock out, but I need to go aggressive and give him options to knock out, unfortunately. 
And a Krozma's GX attack is scary right now. But he needs a DCE and not a counter energy in order to knock me out. Can I hit something? Like, what happened to all my rare candies I was drawing? And I haven't seen a single Magnezone yet. I'm going to get rid of you and you. Because we're getting through our deck a lot right now. So, we need Magneton. Maybe I should have got rid of the Steel Energy now that I'm thinking about that. I'm not used to doing that. Um, that's just Abyssal Hand for two. I want to keep them on Coronet for later. <laughs> Regrets on not grabbing the Magna Zone, even though that would have been way too ballsy of a play. Alright, let's retreat out and knock this guy out. Yep. And we do have the 50, 250 damage on board still. We got rid of a DCE, one of his DCs, another Guzma. Okay, we do have three Guzmas in this deck. He can't attack with Honchkrow. Why did he bring up Honchkrow? He has to attach another energy to him. Okay. I'm fine with that. I'm completely fine with that. That gives me a, the option of exploding, but I don't have, like, a Magnazone or a Supporter. The, game, the, the story of this game has just been not enough Supporters. I've only used three, and I'm over two-thirds of my deck. Okay, 250. That's fun. That's fun. He needs one more prize card. So, yeah, he's pretty much got this. Okay. We'll do that. We'll attach to you manually. Cynthia and hope to hit Magnazone or an Ultra Ball. And a Steel Energy. That's what happens when you run a stage 2 deck, whether it's Bulu, whether it's, I can't even, the Gardevoir, that will happen to you where you don't get things in order. Although Gardevoir is a lot more consistent because it's based around a stage 2 deck. This one is like a tech for a stage 2. Even though it is like the most important card in your deck, it's still like a tech for a stage 2. Gardevoir is normally like a 4-2-4 four, four or something like that um, with 4 rare candies, so it's a lot more consistent than a 3-1-3 three, three with 4 rare candies in it. Oh my god, I didn't even check how many Magnezones were present. I'm pretty sure it was just one, if I remember correctly. I checked at the beginning. This might be a mirror match. I haven't played... I have played this before. I don't remember how it went. <laughs> I'm a little scared. We did get not the ideal starter, but not the worst starter. The ideal starter is definitely Dialga. We only have one of those in the deck. <laughs> we only have one of those in the deck. Um, oh, Disruption. I like it. All right, let's see if we can deal with Disruption. Noivern is a Pokemon that likes to turn off item use and abilities, I think? I have to look at it again. Um, we are doing the most popular play in Pokemon TCG, the Tapu Lele for the Bridget. Although the Ultra Ball for the Tapu Lele for the Bridget is, I believe, more popular. Um, I want you, you. I'm good with that. I'm good with that. I like that little setup right there. Catch to you and done. Beautiful. Easy first turn. Um, I do consider running a Skyla in this deck. Maybe Skyla for a Cynthia would be better. Not just in this instant, but just... Oh, okay. Lots of disruption. Garboder's in here, too. I'm fine with that. Actually, no, I'm not. I had Rare Candy Magnazone. Give me that back. Give me the exact hand back. With Cynthia... Magnezone, no rare candy though. See, this is where like leleing for Skyla would be beautiful. I can't always be based around. That. Oh my god, I had Professor's Letter too. I had the Dream Hand there. I had the Dream Hand. If I hit rare candy, dang it. I like getting rid of the. We're like getting rid of the Lele and Choice Band. I don't think Choice Band's gonna be too important, is it? No, it's not. It's not. Yeah. Grabbing Magneton and then. Okay, nice. Let's look at our prize cards. I like getting Magneton just for consistency's sake over getting Octillery. One rare candy is prized. Anything else that I've noticed? No Magnezones. Looks like Dialga? I don't think I saw Diego. Yeah, Diego's prize too. Okay. Okay. I think one N. I think one N. And. Oh my god, I don't even know. I don't know this deck well enough to know what's prized. I gotta play with it more. I like Cynthia in here. He's got four cards. I don't wanna give him more. 
I want to save the super rod for later. He's going to do a turn where he doesn't turn off items, so I need that. Ooh, pretty. Ooh, pretty. I'm okay with getting rid of the two Guzmas. I'm okay. I'm okay. We get Magnezone. We wear candy. We don't have to worry about this guy too much anymore. We have Professor's Letter to accelerate some energies on before he shuts it off. He does need to hit an item card and, or tool card and uh, Garboder, so it's unlikely. I'll take those odds. I'm assuming he runs a 2-2 two -two of those. Assuming. Assuming. Right, buddy? Assuming. We're just assuming. Um, this deck might become a lot better, the Neuvern deck with Garbo- uh, not Garboder. Gardevoir becoming a little less common. He's got a good matchup against me, for sure. Which is scary. He got rid of an N and Garboder? No, Trubbish. Oh, okay. Okay. Distort. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay. I don't like the super scoop ups at all. I hate coin flips. I hate them. I tried to avoid them at all costs. And unless you run, you either run four super scoop ups or you don't run any. Also, I'd like to point out Noivern has no retreat cost. It's one of my favorite things about it. I need a field blower. And he did not get that. Oh, okay. Um, put that on you. I'm not going to need it, but just in case. Oh. Oh. Yes, you go there. You go there. You go there. He's not going to be able to one-shot me. Um, Floatstone. Yep. <laughs> We're going to empty our hand entirely. I'm okay. If he wants to turn off item cards, I gotta get rid of as many item cards as I possibly can so I don't get stuck in that lock and drawing back into it after he ends me or I end myself or something like that. Or Cynthia myself, which is also an option. I'd also like to say these uh, prizes on the bottom there suck. Um, the only good ones I've seen is actually Glade, other than the normal, like, oh, you get a pack, you get a this thing. Ooh, we're going up against Garchomp. Uh, Garchomp Lucario. Just judging by this. That's Garchomp Lucario. It has to be. This is such a good deck. I think this deck is going to be the best. I think it's going to be the most consistent. It's single prize cards. It's nuts. It is actually nuts. The only thing that holds it back is the fact that you have to use Cynthia every turn. So Guzma becomes a lot less uh, powerful. But it's still really strong. And you have Palpad now to grab two Cynthia's back. It's really good. It's really good. Riolu is nuts. And if you have a start like this. Although you don't want to start off with Riolu. You want to start off with... Uh, most decks run Alolan Vulpix, or you want to get the Ascension Gibble. You don't. Don't use that. Don't use that. That's the bad Gibble. I don't know why he's using it. Um, Cyrus is going to be good this matchup. 200. I don't see Field Blower being that good. Yeah, I don't see Field Blower being that good. We're going to do that. And we're going to Lele. One Magnum, two Magnum, one Magnemite surprised. One Duskmane Necrozma. One Rare Candy. One Mount Coronet. No Bridgets. One Energy. Nothing too bad. Okay. That I can live with. We're going to grab a Magnemite. This Magnemite has free retreat costs as well. Um, was Dialga prized? You guys get to see why Dialga is so good if he's not prized here. If he is prized, we're in trouble. Please don't be prized. I did not pay any attention. No. I want that. Beautiful. And this is the other reason why I use this Magnemite. A lot of you might be asking that. I'm normally going to have two on the bench, so being able to retreat out and overclock is pretty nuts. <laughs> It's so good. Or just being able to grab into something else so you don't sacrifice off that. Overclocking for even just two cards is so good. Being able to get draw support is nuts. Cyrus is going to be very good in this matchup, I believe. You can only play this if your active Pokemon is a Steel or Water type, which right now it's not. Ooh, he's got Cynthia of his own. There goes one of his Cynthia's, which is... Probably doesn't mean much because he's going to run four and he's going to run Palpad too. If Palpad's prized and maybe a Cynthia's prized too... That might come back to hunt, hurt him, but right now we're, we're good. We're, 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 we're chilling right now. Okay. He can't precognitive aura. This is why this deck is so strong. Hold on, I want to see what he got rid of. Okay. Um, precognitive aura is so good. Once during your turn, if you have a guard chomp in play, you may search your deck for a card. Any card you want and put it into your hand. So 
freaking good. He's not gonna be able to attack. Well, he can't actually attack with Slash, can he? Punish him. Not quite the punishment I was looking for. I don't think I can knock him out this turn unless I draw something nuts. Absolutely nuts. If I hit Magnazone there, I would have been able to knock him out easily with Professor's Letter. Oh, dang it. Okay. But Cynthia. We have a really good start here if I can knock him out. No Ultra Ball. Okay, that sucks a little bit. Uh, if I had Ultra Ball, I could have gotten Magnazone. I could even get Octillery out if I didn't have the Red Candy in hand. Let's do that. Just overclock. If he can't ascend this turn. Oh, Magnazone. If I can't ascend, or if he doesn't ascend this turn, which he needs the energy for it, and. Okay. He's going to at least quick dive this turn. I was going to say, we'd be able to knock him out with Shred. That would have been such a nice swing if I got Magnazone out that turn. Oh, that sucks. The punishment was there. I just couldn't get through it. I just couldn't get through it. And all I got to do was overclock for one card. Okay. We need to start focusing on not only getting... I think that's Cynthia. Or an energy. He needs both. No, he's got the choice band. He doesn't even need a Cynthia. Okay, he did though. I actually don't think that was the correct play. Unless his, uh, no, I don't think it was. Hey, 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 I think he should have saved that, Cynthia. I 100 think he should have saved that, Cynthia. Link, stop being a freak. Save the Cynthia for next turn. Be able to do 200. You're knocking me out already with uh, Royal Blades without the Cynthia because you're doing 130 and I have 100. Or I, I have 110 HP left. Does Dylan have a resistance? No, he doesn't. That's unfortunate. I wish he was, like, resistant to water. That'd be cool. Doesn't make any sense, but it would be really cool for Greninja matchup. Greninja gets way too good in this uh, Ultra Prism meta now. Oh, uh, this is going to be a struggle. I could bring up either Magnemite and they have free retreat costs, but we'll bring up the one with the Floatstone. That's trash. Okay. We end here, but do I want to play Remoraid is the question that I'm thinking. No. I need the bench space. Cool. Uh, do I think I'll need Sol Galeo in this matchup? Probably. He hits 160, so he's knocking out too. So yeah, I probably do need him. I don't need the Floatstone. <sighs> I guess I'll get rid of the Guzma as well. I need the Magnemite. Or do I go for Artillery? I actually think it's better to go Artillery. Yeah. Oh, that sucks. I have to go Octillery or else I just fall behind. Alright. Let's hope for an Ultra Ball or a Magnazone. We got neither. Alright. I took a risk. I had to. I, I completely stand by that risk. It's what I had to do. It's unfortunate. Um, uh, there's his pal pad. Okay, so there goes back into two Cynthia's, I'm assuming. I still mean. Yep. How many does he still have in here? None. I didn't know if he used two or three. Alright, he didn't get punished for using the Cynthia last turn. When this when this deck gets set up, it's it's broken. It's way too scary. I think I'm going to have to Radiant Star. And if I could get a big Cyrus off, that would be great. Basically, you win this by him running out of resources. If I Cyrus here, I get rid of Lele and two others, which would probably mean the Gibble and Lucario. But if I bait him into getting rid of the Gibble and... Okay, now you got a card shot. Uh, uh, stage twos are hurting me. They hurt my soul so much. I miss Bulu already. <laughs> I'm gonna play a stage two. I wanna play Bulu. Uh, let's bring you up. I could retreat out with you. I'm probably gonna end here. Oh, 
punished. If I brought up Sogaleo, ah, that still wouldn't have been a good play. We're gonna attach to you, we're gonna end and hope to hit something good. Namely, uh, Magnezone. <laughs> I can't hit both. I can't do it. It's just, no, you can't. All right, we're gonna retreat out. How many do I have in here? Four, beautiful. <sighs> Link, calm down. We're gonna attach one to you. There we go. I like that play. Also, I don't think it was a bad... No, I should have probably just attached them all to Duskman Necrozma. No, it was definitely better to attach them, all of them to Duskman Necrozma. The reason being that I was like, okay, you have to knock out my Solgaleo if I attach one to him. Which does make sense. I think it was better, though, because if he does Guzma and grab my Duskman Necrozma, he can't knock me out because he's doing 100 because he wasn't able to use Cynthia that turn. Oh, if you guys don't know what uh, his attack... Royal Blades is 100 plus 100 if you use Cynthia during the turn. So he, if he Guzmas and grabs my Necrozma, he can't play Cynthia as well, so he's only doing 100 max, or 130 with Choice Band, or 150 with Kakui, but well, he can't do that, so never mind. The max we would be doing is 130, which is not a knockout to Duskman Necrozma. This is probably going to be the turn where Osiris. I hope to God that he rare candies that Gibble. That would be so good for me. Okay, he's going for the knockout on the Solgaleo, that's fine. Solgaleo did his job. He he gave me some burst TS. Okay, there goes one of his rare candies. We're not out of this yet. It's not looking good for us. Actually, no, it's looking terrible for us. He knocks us out, and then he just needs to take a GX knockout. Yeah, it's not looking good for us. Yeah, it's looking terrible for us. I don't think I can win this. If he had one more prize remaining, uh, I'd have a chance. But I couldn't get Magnezone up. Wow, is this entire video going to be me not being able to get Necrozma up? Or Magnum, Magnazone up? It just very well might be. Very well might be. Hmm. <sighs> we get to Octillery for one card. Which will hopefully be Magnus. Uh, you get rid of Tapu Lele and these two. You you definitely keep these two. Or or these two. You keep a Lucario and you keep a Garchomp. If you don't know what Cyrus does, uh, your opponent chooses two bench Pokemon and shuffles the others into their deck. Yeah. Magnezone? Cool. That's not any help in this matchup. Okay, let's just do this to thin out our deck a tiny bit and hope that he can't get a Cynthia this turn. He's got three still in his deck, so it's very likely that he does. I need to hope that I get a, t ah, a Timeless GX off next turn. Don't give me that. Don't give me that. I gotta hope that I hit Dialga, Dialga, and Magnezone, and pray. Don't give me that nonsense. Don't. I don't want to talk to you right now. You puzzles of. I'm done. I'm done. Next game. I'm tilted. I'm so tilted. I'm so tilted. Oh my god. I just want to get Magnezone up. If we could get Magnezone up and actually get a good game, I'll be happy. Like I said, the inconsistency of stage twos does happen. When I said a two-one-two line might be, you might be able to get away with. Mm, now that I'm playing it a bit more on camera, it's not looking like it. Okay, I won the coin flip. Sweet, awesome, good news. Okay, we started off with him again, which once again isn't the end of the world. It's not ideal. But if we could hit a Lele Ultra Ball, Ultra Ball would be awesome. Um, or Bridget, just to be able to get Bridget off first turn, that'd be fantastic. Uh, I'm just gonna end. I'd rather save the Cynthia for later. Actually, no, Cynthia was better there. We 
did that just in case he ends me. Like I said, I don't think uh, floatstones. I didn't say this, but floatstones are probably going to be that important in this matchup. Hmm. Hmm. This card is definitely better for the Weavile matchup. I'll say that one. Don't expect to see that too often, though. Me and this uh, this year metal deck ain't getting along too well. I'm with like Garchomp Lucario next. It's such a good deck. It's a fun deck too. I will say that. I think it is going to be the best deck in the format. Other than of course Zoroark, but hopefully Zoroark just goes away. I don't want to play Zoroark. Although I think I think Garchomp will be better because Garchomp is able to one shot. But Garchomp, fighting Garchomp with Turbo Assault is played in that deck. I suggest running a 2-2 Garchomp line. Or Garchomp, Garchomp. Um, two Fighting Garchomps and two Dragon Garchomps from the new set. Uh, the other one is from, I want to say, Breakthrough. It's really good. The combo is there. You're able to get energies out of your discard pile. It's kind of important, but not the end of the world if you don't hit it. Cool. Does he have a Bridget in hand? Why did he Ultra Ball for that and not a Lele for Bridget? Okay. He Mount Coronet, that's that's fine. What? Wait, did he Skyla? Hold on, I'm so confused. I, I'm not gonna concede. I wanna see the game log. Um, he played Skyla, grabbed Ultra Ball. Interesting. Okay. He just didn't have a play that turn. It wasn't a bad play, I guess, but I was when I saw Ultra Ball, I didn't see that he already used Skyla. That's why I was confused. Um, yeah, we're just getting by right now. <laughs> That's all we're doing. We're just living our day, life day by day, and it's not pretty. This is when, uh, cool. Does he have Magnezone in hand? Does he have Magnezone in hand? No. I'm going to Bridget here. <laughs> I like Bridgeting too much here. He's falling behind a little bit. I do like that he runs Skyla though. I think I'm going to add that to this deck. It adds so much more consistency. Oh, it does mean Necrozma's prize too. And so is the Magnemite. Okay. Yep, 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 We're gonna do that. We're gonna free retreat out. That's why I use this Magnemite, because I love it. I do think that's the better Magnemite. And having a electric type Pokemon is pretty good against Volcanion. Just gonna throw that out there. It's not like end all be all. It's not gonna win you the game because you run a Magnemite. It does help though, not get one shot by uh baby Volk. Unless he overheats twice, but that's that's unlikely. First few turns. Ooh, he got rid of a rare candy. Two rare candies. Awesome. That's actually really good for me. Um, we don't have much going for us right now. <laughs> I will say that much. Uh, ideal world, we draw <laughs> a rare candy. No. We draw Octillery into rare candy. That's the real play that I'm looking for. I'm probably going to Field Blower. If I if I hit that, I could Field Blower away his Mount Coronet and play mine. Thin out my deck a little bit. Um, but right now, we're both struggling. <laughs> we're both on the struggle bus today. <laughs> Today's not our day. He got that Solgaleo down. I actually prefer... I prefer where I'm at over where he's at quite a bit, although he might have a better hand for next turn, maybe just not this turn, judging by how slow he's playing. Um, but if I could get... There's one second more, two Cynthia's, and two more ends, I believe. So there's a lot of supporters I could get. Mainly Octillery would definitely be the best pull here. Octillery into some supporter that I could play. Okay, perfect. Perfect. Something good? That's not good. Actually, that's not bad. That's not bad. I'm gonna do this. Get rid of you. I don't think uh, Field Blower is gonna be too important in this matchup. I want my Mount Coronet up. That's just in case he ends me in the future, or I end myself, or whatever. I just like that play a little bit. I'm gonna hope that we get something good off the prizes. I have to. I have to. Um, he's gonna knock me out if I don't do that, and I'm just gonna fall way behind. At least now I have Overclocked Dialga. That could have been a play for that turn, too, because I think I, he has three retreat cost. Yeah, Link just jumped up here. You want to say hi, buddy? Look, it's the people. They're over there. Look, they're over here. 
Let me do it. Wanna say hi? Hello. Hello, my name is Link. I'm a dog mom. What do you want from me? Um, actually, we're in a great spot now that we knocked him out. He's got nothing going for him. The only thing that he would have going for him if he rare candies Magnezones, but he didn't have that in the last turn, so he would have to draw into one of the pieces. And he already had the other piece in hand, assuming that. If he got his Magnezone, I'm going to be so upset. Because if he does that, he definitely had... He just drew into one of the pieces. Nope, that's my Necrozma. Okay, I think he's going to start setting that up. He is going to be able to get a big Radiant Star off here, because he has three, four. Oh. I think he had three in there, and then I, he just Ultra Balled away one. Okay. And... Sycamore. Really? Okay. Also, I would like to point out that I got an Ultra Ball, so I can't grab Octillery. How important will Sol Galeo be in this match? I don't think it's going to be that important. Mainly because there's always going to be a Mount Coronet up. Unless he gets rid of it here. He does, okay. I do run two more, and I know he runs more, and he's going to want to put... Ah, stop it! I want my Mount Coronet up! I want it facing me! Tell him, Link, I want it facing me. Radiant Star, okay. This is where he gets to kind of pop off a little bit. Who's texting me? Stop texting me. <sighs> I wanted to make sure it wasn't important. It's not. It's Parker asking how much I paid for my standing desk. I'll answer him after this. I'm almost done. This is going to be the last game for sure. Truthfully, um, ideal world we get a Guzma and we're able to knock out that Magnemite. If I get rid of that Magnemite, I just win. I just flat out win. Ah, uh, not necessarily. This old Galeo could keep him in the game too. It's going to be a lot more difficult for him though. I'm going to say do that. I'm going to say grab Octillery. Okay. Play you. I'm going to say Super Rod. Grab three in there. Having two in the discard is perfect. Unless I wanted to Soul Galeo. And now we're going to hit our rare candy. Easy. 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 All right, time to overclock. <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh, that's not pretty. Okay. We overclock for one card. <laughs> I can't hit both of the pieces. Every I feel like every single game I've had either two Magnazones or two Rare Candies in my hand, but never both. I don't think I've rare candied into Magnazone this entire game, other than the game that was over in, like, turn two. I think I did that in that game. Right, buddy? Oh, boy. Guzma. Okay. That sucks a little bit, but it's not the end of the world. Right, buddy? It's not the end of the world. We can bring up Magnemite. Have free retreat cost. Gotta go down. You're licking me too much. I don't like being licked. Okay. Good boy. Gotta go down. Oh, oh watch out for cost. Up. There you go. Go down now. I gx Okay. Ah, I should have brought up Magnemite. I totally forgot what I just said. God dang it. Oh, that's not bad. Let's do that. Actually, that's terrible. Actually, that's terrible. I don't have a choice, though. Alright, whatever. We have one more Magnazone. He wants to play, that's why he's barking. Cool. Alright. Very happy where I'm at in this game. Very pleased with all my drawing from this game. You know, I said that this was a good deck. I think it's going to be the second best deck in the format. Now that I record on it, it's terrible. <laughs> it's absolute trash. Maybe I made some small misplays. I probably shouldn't have Sycamore there, but I'm tilted, and I'm just like, give me cards. I'm... I already used the Super Rod too, so that's my way of getting them back. And he's not hitting it either. I think I just lose. He's gonna knock me out with Meteor Tempest. He's only gotta attach one energy next turn. <sighs> Buddy, you gotta stay down. I know. I 
I think we're gonna have to Solgaleo Radiant Star this turn. I want to Lele for an end, but I need Dusk and Maiden Necrozma or some other attacker. Cool. I forgot Dusk and Maiden Necrozma was prized. Alright guys, I hope you did enjoy. If you did, be sure to leave a like. That's so tilty. Uh, let me pull up what we're going to be playing next. Not 100% sure what we're playing next. I will say Greninja got a lot better uh, with Cynthia now. Adds a lot more consistency. Like that said, 3 and 7, I won 10 straight with this deck. And I don't think I changed anything in it. Um, this is, my opinion, the best deck in the game. This is a deck that I've been dabbling around with and made my own. I love this deck. Um, options to add to this. You could take away the, one of these fighting guard chomps and add another other guard chomp, but this this card is so important for turbo assault. It's really good. Strong energy count you can mess around with. I do recommend two or three. Um, oh, what? What? What do you want? Where, where's your toy? Two or three. Um, for Lucario and the fighting uh, guard chomp, I have seen people just not play this and not play any strong energies. I don't know how I feel about that. I, I like this guard chomp way too much to not use it. It is so good. Even this has come in handy. This almost makes Volcanion an instant win unless you like struggle at the beginning. But this deck has so much consistency with Alolan Vulpix and Ascension on Gibble. You have a lot of options here. I think everything in this deck is how I like it. I think what I would consider would be doing that. I think I'll try that next and see how it goes. Um, but I just like it too much. It's so good. Um, maybe four rare candies is overkill. Maybe. I don't know how I feel about it. I do run three of these guys because of Ascension, so maybe it is a little bit of overkill. But yeah, I see that as being overkill. Maybe minus one at an Evo Soda. That could be an option. There's a lot of options in this deck. It's not just one correct thing. I do like running one Parallel City. I like it. I like it a lot. But anyways, guys, I hope you did enjoy it. If you did, be sure to leave a like it out here. <gasps> you knuckleheads.